Hey everybody, and welcome to uh, Paradise Number School of Forbidden Knowledge. So, what I want to do is show you guys this game that I have been working on. My name's Calvin. You might, there's a small chance you played uh, my earlier game, The Real Texas. Anyhow, this is what I have been working on with um, the good people at Devolver, as well as Fort Park at Devolver, for the past, uh, I guess, three years or so. Um, this is not a uh, gameplay demo. This is going to be like more like a behind the scenes, uh, nuts and bolts kind of thing. So if you are interested in how the game's getting made and kind of like how stuff works, then stay tuned. The other thing I want to say is, uh, if you just look right here, you can see these little kind of weird things. They're kind of kind of dark and, and black almost. That's not normal. So I am always just going to show you guys whatever uh, the build is currently like. So and glitches and all. I think glitches are pretty cool. These are supposed to be bushes. They're supposed to be more like that color there. Um, kind of a dark tan. But because um, I'm reworking some lighting stuff, they... Uh, they turned out like that, yeah. So if you if you are uh, interested in games, this is an awesome way to to steal some ideas. Because uh, <laughs> I'm gonna spill the beans. Okay, so this is the world generation tool, and this is basically a tool that I use for figuring stuff out and debugging and testing things. Uh, this isn't something you necessarily see in the game. Although if you're looking at it thinking, "Whoa, this would be cool to like mess around with," yes, and I'd love to like make it available through some kind of mod tools or something. We'll see. So basically, there's a lot of stuff on here. I'm going to just go ahead and click on all the objects, whoops, bushes, boulders, all this stuff. So this is all stuff that the world generator spits out. So each time you go through the game, this little thing runs, a little status bar comes across, and behind the scenes, this thing is working its ass off, basically, to create the world. So you can see there's like a ton of stuff on here, right? And the other thing I want to point out is if you notice, it, it's kind of random, but it's not really random. Like, you can see that, for instance, okay, there's roads, and these blue things are roads, and they kind of link between buildings. Um, there's this other type of road. These are like, uh, I don't even know what those are. Oh, I know what those are. Those are for, for, for pathfinding, so people can get into houses. There's like a dock here. You'll notice that the docks are kind of like in places where they sort of would be like there's a there's like a dock here but there 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 isn't one like here in this little you know little little uh, inlet here because there wouldn't be enough space for boats so the world generator has to take into account really a lot of stuff and it just does its best job to make a world that is interesting and surprising and uh and also makes sense and seems kind of logical so yeah so that is a quick look at uh some of the stuff on the world generator and uh, how, it, how it works uh, is going to be for the next video. So yeah, so that is just a quick intro. I want to keep these videos super, super quick. So yeah, so if you're a developer, these are, videos are a great opportunity to get some ideas. And uh, you can picture like a little fork bark here. Hey, don't steal these ideas. We'll sue you. And then I would say, but Fork Parker, what about all the great ideas that I steal from other developers that post their videos online? And he'd say, hey, no one say that. We'll get sued. Ha ha ha. Okay, thanks for watching and catch you next time.